Bigger 10 to probably 14 is, is a range. I use the 9761 Mustad. You can also use the 3769 uh, Timco. 9761. So 10 to 14. 9671, thank you. I love dyslexia. 9671. 96 is a, is a Mustad wet nymph. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I tie it on. That's what I have. But the the TMCO 30, 3769, 37, yeah. right? That's also the similar. It's a, it's a standard. It's a standard. Standard, yeah. standard yeah. shank. First thing is to start with uh, your beads. I've got these fire red beads. They got to be glossy. Or can be uh, glossy is better. Uh, I just want a straight hook on this, standard length. I don't want a rounded back. And I go for the, uh, the kind of the cigar-shaped body on this fly, so that's the other reason that I, that I uh, put the lead on it. I go with the 15, 15. wire. Okay. And... Definitely. Uh, why do you say that? Oh. Well, because you know, there's a push uh, lead free flies. Oh, I know, but I mean, why is the it's just It's just less dense, right? you know, and oh, so right. to get okay. the same weight effect, you know, you need more of it. Gotcha. You know? And, yeah, something uh, like 60% of the weight. Is it that light? So it's I 60 think so. at, yeah, I can yeah. believe it. Yeah, I got uh, one. That's because you're tying on a 12. What, you need one? I'm no, tying on a 14. 14. Oh, they're going that way. Oh, these are his. Oh, those are jeans. So then I go ahead. Gene would love to see that. Those going around. Those are, those are good. Yeah, I know. That's why I was hoping he was here. Those are his, Aaron. So uh, <clears throat> you guys want to just watch on this one and then you can tie the next one. So I jam the uh, the lead in there. I, I bring the lead back about half half length and uh, you know just lock in the back of it here and then. Go forward. What size lead are you using? 15. 15, okay. Because I've got the substitute stuff, I've never found it smaller than 15. Oh, uh, I've got some. Um, 10,000. Yeah, I've got some 10. In, in the substitute? No. I've got 10 in lead. Yeah, lead. Oh, in the tin stuff? Yeah. yeah. I keep keep going with my thread there until I feel like it's locked in. What size thread are you using? Uh, this is um. I didn't realize I grabbed that. This is fourteen. Uh, I, yeah, I would, I would go with I would go with six aught on it for sure. I didn't realize that's what I grabbed. But anyways, you just got to wrap more. So go ahead and uh, tie it half hitches in there just to lock that down. Some people like to come in and coat their lead with uh, head cement. Uh, I don't I don't bother doing that. Yeah, Gene always bugged me about it, but I never had any trouble. Neither have I. Then I use the tin stuff in it. On light colored flies, the lead will just Bleed, Does it bleed through? Yeah. Uh, it'll, it'll, on the light? It'll just it'll discolor your, uh, your body. That makes sense. Okay, so you, everybody's got peacock curl, and then the tail, tail we're using, um, you know, the ends, what they call the swords. Oh, the swords. The swords. Well, I don't swords. Have some swords, but I got some real fun regular. Girl. Yeah. Like I said, um, you can also tie it with marabou if you're so inclined. Uh, to be honest with you, the marabou um, probably hold up a little bit better. 
But I like the action of this stuff, though. Well, like I said, if I tied it with Maribu, I couldn't call it a Zunkbok, which is, you know, a really cool name. <laughs> Three strands. Three. I'm starting maybe I'll end up with this one isn't great. But. Well, it's pretty uh, pretty standard tie on that. And I like to use three to four strands on the uh, hurdle. I've got it kind of mixed in, um, but you know. As you can see, there's a there's kind of a, a darker side to the hurl. When I go over, then the shiny side, the shiny side will be will be up. So I'm going to tie it in like this. It, it's not all that critical, but um, this gives you a little more a little more sparkle. It looks like you tie the butt ends in. I tie the butt ends in. Yes, and the reason why I do that is because I don't have good success with not breaking peacock curl. I'm always breaking it when I tie it in with the tip, and so I like tying it in by the shaft because it's a little stronger. The other thing that likes to happen, as you guys know, is when you come by the the hook. Point, it picks it and breaks it for you. It's real convenient how it sticks out there. So I, I found just about every way imaginable to break off the hurl. And, uh, you know, hurl. So as you can see with the lead now, it's giving me that uh, kind of that cigar shaped body, you know. And I, I really like that on uh, soft tackles because um, it really helps flare out the, the hackle. So you left the lead in the middle, huh? So the lead goes about halfway back, and uh, like I said, that helps kind of push off, push out the, the thorax. And uh, that's the general shape right there. Yeah. Okay, and then now, the partridge, um, partridge skin. I um, you have the you have the wing the wing feathers here, and then you have the the back. And I like the back material for uh, for the soft hackles. You know these are pretty short. And you've got all this uh, under under fibers here, um, down I guess it's called. And I'm going to strip all of that stuff away. And what always happens here is you're always breaking breaking the shaft. Okay, so that's that's what you end up with. And then I'll go ahead and. Trim that a little bit. Yeah. Now, I think last month's featured fly used a lot of partridge, right? Was it Mitch? Yeah. yeah. Oh, did I violate a rule not to no. follow up with? No, no, no. Okay. So it was, that's good. All right. So now comes the fun. That one in butt first. This I this I tie in. But first, so now I go ahead and grab your hackle pliers. What I do is I'm going around is I flare. Then you got fibers there, and and that helps you uh, be able to actually cover the whole wrap with just one turn. If you don't do that, what happens is it bunches up for you in one area. It ends up looking too sparse in one area, all the fibers are in the other area. So when you kind of flare it as you turn, it, it helps get it out even. But that's basically it. Now I take my fingers and I roll back and come in here and take some wraps. And that helps flare it out. 
few more. And that's basically it. And then this, this I usually do. Well, no wings. But I need practice with this tool. You just bury it behind the behind the bead. Put yeah. The whip finish right in. There. Yeah. That was nice. That's funny. Mm. A little bit right here. Trim off. Tiny bit. There we go, and that's that's the fly.